Maga ng hapon, Pilipinas at buong mundo. Naitay Kapuso. Pahiram po ng 20 minutes ng inyong hapon. Ako po si Boy and welcome to Fast Talk with Boy Abunda. Sa lahat ng nakikinig po sa atin sa DZWB at nanonood po sa ating live streaming channels sa YouTube at Facebook, maraming salamat. Welcome to the program. Umpisan po natin ang ating programa ngayong hapon with uh, for today's talk, kumakalat ngayon ng isang fake article. Fake article po tungkol di umano sa deleted interview ko kay Max Collins dito sa Fast Talk with Boy Abunda. Ang claim ng article, nagtalo daw kami ni Max. On air, at dahil hindi ako makapaniwala sa kanyang bigla ang pagyaman. Inexplain daw ni Max sa akin na kaya siya yumaman ay dahil nag-invest siya sa cryptocurrency auto trading program o Bitcoin. And in that fake interview, nakubinsi raw ako ni Max kaya nag-set up ako agad ng account on air habang the interview was happening. And after 30 minutes, my supposed investment of 14,060 pesos grew to 21,165 pesos. Nililinaw ko po ngayon, nanay, tatay, kapuso, hindi po ito totoo. This is fake. This is a big lie. Lumabas po ang article sa website na critno.com at ginamit nilang interface ng inquire.net. The legal team of GMA is currently studying uh, our legal options against these scam websites. Hindi po ito unang pagkakataon naging biktima po ako at ang Fast Talk with Boy Abunda ng ganitong mga scam. May lumabas din na fake article that I criticized Michelle D. here on the show with an embedded link to a cryptocurrency website. Prior to this, may mga fake articles din na in-interview ko raw si former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. You know, I got a call personally from the former president to Goldito because she was alarmed, I think, with a number of people calling her kung totoo yung aming interview. Mega World Chair, Andrew Tan, Vice Ganda, Tony Tan Kak Yong, Rico Hizon, uh, Senator Robin Padilla, Bank of the Philippines. Itong kwento na ito ay nagalit daw sa akin ang Banko Sentral ng Pilipinas. In-interview ko ang mga taong ito tungkol sa Bitcoin. Kung gusto nyo kumita ng malaking pera, ay panuorin nyo at maniwala kayo dito sa aming pag-uusap na ito. Samantala, I also did allegedly an interview with Dr. Willie Ong and Dr. Alvin Francisco dahil sila daw ay may mga naimbento na gamot, cure for hypertension at iba pang mga sakit. Lahat ng mga pag-uusap na ito ay hindi po totoo. Lahat po ito fake. So inuulit ko po, may pattern po ito ha, may pattern po itong mga uh, fake news na ito. Lahat ito ay malaking kalokohan, lahat ito ay puro kasinungalingan, lahat po ito ay scam. Uh, why am I speaking right now? Because this is alarming and extremely dangerous. Dahil sa hirap ng buhay, hirap ng, you know, a, a lot of people want to make a lot of money. At uh, pag nakakabasa ka ng mga kwentong ganito, may mga ilan-ilan. Kaya, you know, a lot of people are saying, bakit ba? Why is this persisting? Dahil siguro nagwo-work. Kaya, kayo po, pag na- makabasa ko kayo ng ganitong klase ng articles, wag po kayong maniwala agad. Check the link of the website. Verify the information. Paano? By checking our official social media accounts at malalaman po ninyo kung ano ang uh, totoo at kung ano ang hindi. What is fake? And what is true? Pero ang ating bisita ngayong hapon ay pag-uusapan din natin ang uh, true love, uh, right love at wrong time. Hindi naman ho ito cryptocurrency at Bitcoin. Now what I'm talking about, uh, in the words of Darren Espanto, one of the best singers of our generation. At para sa akin, the emerging music superstar. Naitay Kapuso, please welcome, Jada Avanzada. Woo! Maraming salamat, Jada. Yes. Thank you so much for having me dito. Please, po maraming maraming salamat. Congratulations. Thank you so much. On that beautiful song. Oh, thank you. Magkapitbahay po kami ni Jada. Sana nagsabay na lang tayo dito. Sana nga, sabi ko, sana hindi na lang ako nag-service van. Sana <laughs> nag-text na lang po ako sa inyo. At nagkwentuhan pa tayo. Oh, yes, okay, po. tell us a story. Tell us a story about uh, the song. Yes. Paano right. ito nabuo? Ano ang kwento? Well, ang Right Lover Wrong Time is a song that I wrote nung mga sometime last year. And actually, very vocal po ako pag kinukwento ko po na 
tungkol siya sa isang experience na naranasan ko ng um, yung konsepto ng right love wrong time or the one that got away kumbaga talaga the one so, that got away the one that got away sino to artista singer somewhere uh, uh, sino baka kilala niyo tito talaga <laughs> <laughs> You know, with this girl, sabi nga ni Jessa sa akin, ask her and she answers. <laughs> I do my best. I do my best. Pero ayun po, siguro po, I, I wrote it nung sa headspace na I've always looked at my songs as parang, kumbaga parang therapy po sa akin, um, uh, Tito Boy, when I write songs. And I really just wrote it from the perspective to honor my emotions and honor kung, nag- kung paano naging mahalaga yung tao na to sa akin. And that's a right. I, I, I love the way you phrase it. Honor my emotion. Pero, pero pag-usapan natin yan, kasi uh, right love, wrong time. Opo. So, uh, uh, no, no, it's right lover. Actually, lover. it's not about love. Yes po. It's kasi, about a person. That's right, you get it. Of course, yeah. yeah. Kasi po, parang yun po talaga yung usual na phrase, right love, wrong time. Pero, um, nung nagdi-discuss kami nung isa sa mga co-writers ko, si Casey Sullivan, we were thinking about, hindi lang kasi talaga tungkol sa pag-ibig o yung pagmamahalan na Um, na naganap o that you shared with this person tungkol talaga siya dun sa tao na yun na nagpasaya sa'yo. Nag-viral ho ito. At bakit ka <laughs> naka-wedding gown sa MTV? Ayun. And by the way, it's a lovely MTV. One of the best. Napaka-simple. Ay, maraming salamat po, Tito. Pero po. dito sa puso, ang ganda-ganda. Ba't naka-wedding gown ka? Para Did po, you talk about getting married ngayon, with this guy? Hindi naman hindi po. Naman. Actually, para po sa akin, nung kinonceptualize ko po doing the whole deconstructed bridal aesthetic para dito sa era ko po na to. Parang, ang wedding gown is supposed to symbolize the right love. ba diba, pag iniisip nyo po sa kultura or sa pop culture, mm-hmm. when you think about marriage, it usually connotates to the right kind of love. And para mm-hmm. po sa akin kasi, ito po yung first time na naranasan ko po na parang ratuhin ako ng tama ng isang tao. So They parang... They line eh. It was a song, di ba? Na parang handa na ako or gusto ko pa, bigla kang nawala. Yeah, gusto ko na biglang ayaw mo na. Biglang ay That's painful. Mm-hmm. Biglang ayaw mo na. Opo. Tapos parang... Nauwi lang tayo sa wala. Oh, nauwi lang tayo sa wala. I saw a clip also uh, ang yung parents, si Jessa, saka si Ding Dong, were watching you perform it live. Opo. Umiiyak. Yes. So how long was that relationship? Yes, yeah, so yung relationship na po to, I, I guess I would just say that it wasn't very long. Pero Opo. parang... It was a living proof po, Tito Boy, na hindi na ma-measure yung level or yung depth ng sa isang relasyon sa haba ng panahon. That's true. Para po sa akin, whatever I shared with this person, parang, I mean, it was enough to leave a, a profound, long-lasting impact. Sandali, the one that got away. Are Opo. you still friends? Magkaibigan pa rin kayo? Hindi na po. Hindi na. Hindi na nakikita na nakikita pa rin kayo hindi pa po hindi simula uh, nung, nung nawala po yun hindi na hindi but he's still around paanong around po <laughs> he is in the industry pwede po baka pwede. kilala niyo po yun ah, na lang ang sasabi ko po talaga <laughs> <laughs> kailangan maibulong mo yan sa amin mamaya baka mamaya mamaya for writer po nito si Don Avanzado yes, ito, ito si your dad who advised you yes ito sa mga co-writer ko po kasi nagsimula po talaga yung kanta na to fully in English it was called Right Love Around Time ito your dad who told you and then yung dad ko po siya po yung nagsabi na anak alam mo pag tinagalog mo to sobrang ganda ang so, ganda naman talaga ang nangyari salamat po Tito Boy so ayun we, we reworked the lyrics together and the rest History. Hindi ito si Darren, diretsong tanong. Hindi po. Hindi si Darren. Hindi po. Pero I did an interview with Darren last Monday. Opo. At uh, you, you saw that interview. Yes po, I'm aware. And then, you know, he said that you're one of the best singers of this generation. Oh, I was very flattered by that comment. It was nice of Yeah, Darren. and then I pushed the question as to Opo. kung naging kayo. As you do. And there was romantic about it. Opo. So, what is your side of the story? Naging kayo ni Darren. Ito po, masasabi ko po, Tito Boy. Totoo po yun na there was something romantic between me and him at one point. Nung mga bata po kami, parang kumbaga, it's something that I actually look fondly back on. And ito lang masasabi ko po, it was mutual understanding po, Tito Boy. Ah, it was. It Opo. was mutual understanding. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Um, I mean, in your generation, holding hands, exclusively <laughs> dating, pa- what, what does it mean? Para 
po sa akin kasi yun na nga po yung mahirap dito sa generation ko na po. Na parang ang ang dami ibig sabihin pero siguro po nung time na yun and you know in respect sa sinabi din ni Darren na he'd like to keep certain things private. Pero para po sa akin na it was just mutual na and we were vocal sa um, sa sa aming pa, dalawa or um mm-hmm. we were vocal that we were both special to each other at one point. Yeah. No, no, no. I just wanted to know because I don't know. Kung okay. sinasabi mutual understanding, hindi ka pwedeng ligawan ng iba. I cannot uh, hindi rin ako pwedeng manligaw. Is is that how it is? In a way po, depende po kasi sa Kung boundaries paano. that you that you set. Pero siguro po with how young we were, I think it was just something na we enjoyed okay. in the moment po. I get po. it. I oh, get po, it. Thank you oh, for po. telling us your side of the story. Let's oh, do fast talk. Yes, let's do this. I'm excited. <laughs> okay. Two minutes to do this and our time begins now. Jada, Janelle. Jada. Right lover or heartbreaker? Right lover. Right place, perfect time. Perfect time. Guapo matangkad. Guapo. May dimples, wala. May dimples. Chinito, moreno. Moreno na. Sweet, spicy. Sweet. Rugged, neat. Neat. Showbiz, non-showbiz. Showbiz. Bad boy, good boy. Good boy. Singing, acting. Singing. Guitar, piano. Piano. A song that makes you dance. Um, Espresso by Sabrina Carpenter. A song that makes you cry. All too well, 10-minute version by Taylor Swift. A song that makes you smile. Um, right love a wrong time now. Honestly. Yeah, song for mom. A song for mom. If I ain't got you. For dad. For dad. Um, dance with my father. Oh. Or butterfly kisses, actually. Yeah. One to ten. Naka ilang boyfriends kana? Um, as a resident of the United States, I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> One to ten. Ilan na ang binasted mo? I also plead the fifth to that. <laughs> <laughs> One to ten. Ano ka kaganda, Jada? I on a good day, I'll give myself. A good eight or a nine. Mom or dad? Mas chit. My dad. Mas konsintidon. Nanay ko po. Ah! Ah, mas masarap ka bonding. Um, pareho naman po sila. Yeah. Iba, iba po yung bonding. Mas ka ugali mo. Siguro po, dad ko po. Mas ka mukha mo. Depende po sa ito meetingin eh. Pero siguro, now, mas narinig ko po nanay ko po. Mom or dad? Mas stage parent. Ooh. Pareho po sila. <laughs> Hindi naman po sila stage parent. I think they're just both very proud of me. Okay, 20 na kasi si Jada. Pwede na. Lights on or lights off? Lights on. Happiness or chocolate? Paano po yun, Tito Boy? Hindi ako mahilig sa chocolate. <laughs> Best time for happiness. Anytime. Complete uh, the sentence. A right lover is? A right lover is the person that values you. Oh! oh. Nararamdaman ko yung pain. Pero I've always wanted to ask you this. Apo. You were very, very good friends with Francine Diaz and Andrea Brillantes. At one point, narinig ko na nagkaroon kayo ng problema. My question is, are you guys okay? Are you still friends? Are you talking to each other? At kung magsasabi ka sa akin ngayon ng isang leksyon na tutunan mo sa friendship na yan, ano yon? Ang kasagutan po sa pagbabalik ng Fast Talk with Boy Abu. <laughs> the show with Jada. Jada, pag halimbawa may boyfriend ka or puppy love, whatever it was, Apo. selosa ka? Hindi naman po. Talaga hindi? Kung hindi naman ako bibigyan ng rason magselo. <laughs> hindi, pero hindi naman po. In Uh-oh. nature. But are you the quiet type? Are you, you know, I, I, as a girlfriend, w- w- describe yourself. Um, very expressive po ako, Tito Boy. Oh. I'm very expressive. I'm the type of person. Siguro kasi ma-words po akong tao. So, right. gusto ko yung pinaparamdam ko sa tao kung gano'n sila ka special sa akin. Ganun. Right. At one point, you were best friends with Francine Diaz. Okay. Yan ang pagkakalam ko. And then you went around the circle. Sila, sila Blythe, sila Andrea Brillantes, and others. No? Mm-hmm. What happened to that friendship? Um, siguro po, Tito Boy, um, to be very... Honest and transparent. And you're always honest. <laughs> of course, po. I mean, I try my best. Ako, one thing about me, po, Tito Boy, is mm. my kind of oh, code of honor to myself, po, is when it comes to interviews, I may, you know, choose to not talk about things necessarily immediately for the meantime or keep things for but. myself, but I don't like to lie. So, to be perfectly honest with you, nagkaroon din po ng parang disagreement po sa amin ni Francine and mga ibang bagay na hindi namin pagkakaunawaan. So, mm-hmm. ayun po. Naayos ba ito? 
Um, siguro po, Tita Boy, ito masasabi ko po, without, you know, elaborating so much on all the details, we were able to talk about it po, and, oh. you know, we were able to talk about it po, and naging maayos naman po yung usapan na yun. Oh, that's good. So, kumbaga, we're at a place where we're civil. What about you and uh, Sila Black, Andrea? Brilliant. So, Andrea, actually, I, I might say, like, you know, I'll go as far to say na hindi naman po kami sobrang close or anything. It's really more of we are in the same circles na... Sa, we're in the same industry, so para, and we have the same stylist actually. So, oh, kaya okay. po kami nakikita. At hindi naman kayo nag-away, di ba? Ni Andrea, hindi po. Uh -oh. hindi Except po. that nga, you are in the same circle of we friends. We are in the same circle of friends okay. po. So, parang um, pag nakikita po kami sa event, parang nagkakataon po na nagkakasama po kami. And maayos naman yung pakikitungon niya po sa akin. So, para po sa akin, um, I reciprocate that. And I was raised that right. way to... Um, kailangan makisama po ako sa lahat ng tao po sa industriya and kung, lalo na kung maayos po sila sa Are you hoping uh, na kayo ni Francine ay manumbalik yung pagiging magkaibigan because I know that you were best friends. Tama Opo. ba? Opo. Tama uh, po yun, Tito. So, are you hoping? Para po sa akin, um, I think I'm at a point as a young adult po sa akin, Tito Boy, that wherever life takes us and okay. if, you know, if, you know, hmm. life's um, destiny is for us to come back together as friends, then... I welcomely, you know, I, I willingly welcome that for myself. I get that. Uh, I know the story, but uh, hindi ko alam na nag-usap kayo. At nakakatuwa at nag-usap kayo. So, wherever the, that leads you, uh, that's what you're trying to say, you are open. Anong natutunan mo? Um, ang natutunan ko po siguro, and I'll be very, again, very frank with this. Siguro po parang, um, you know, at the end of the day, people are people, and you can't really also put people on a, on a pedestal. Okay. And I feel like uh, when it comes to friendships, life happens, you know, things happen like that. And all you can really do is do your best with the circumstances given to you at that specific moment. And it's a learning curve, um, and people have their own um, learning journeys in life and okay. things like that. So, you have a best friend now. Um, siguro ngayon po, I would say that I really have people, more than the word best, best friend, yes, right. siguro po, people I consider to be my sisters. Yes. Po, I, dra I prefer that term, I think. Like? Who are, who are they? Well, siguro po, yung mga na, nakasama ko po sa Teen Clash, sila Gail. But now, I don't know if you, you may remember yes, her. Yes, I do. We did an interview before, and that's actually where we first met. No, ah, ni Gail. Yeah, it's ni Gail. It was over Zoom during okay. the pandemic pa po. And she and I became super close. Nice girl. And of course, um, yung ibang Teen Clash stars po. And I would say yung mga um, tao po from UMG, my new label, Republic Records, sila Zach Tabu. Okay. So, these are people that... You know, newfound people, newfound friendships. Nothing the treasure ko po. Zach by single. Zach? Oh. Um, I, he has a girlfriend right ah, now, and has. she's she's very sweet, si Abby. So okay. yeah, and of course, um, apart from Gail, there's also Ella Nympha, which I'm she's oh. been, been on the show yes. a couple of times in the past, or she's done an interview with you. And Th yeah. that's, no, I saw them. I, I, I saw growing up, growing right? Up. Yeah, 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 right. Pero may tanong ako. Opo. Bilang isang kaibigan, Opo. halimbawa sa Ella Nympha. Ang kaibigan ni Ella, kaibigan mo. Ang kaaway ni Ella Nemfa, kaaway mo. Is that the way you make friends? Ako po kasi, parang pagdating sa ganyan, I, I, as an adult, I realize that, especially in an industry like this, it's hard to impose your emotions on someone else, on paano sila makikitungo sa ganyan. So para sa akin, parang um, I, personally, would rather kind of like to find solace and um, feel more secure in my friendship with that person rather than imposing that, oh, you should feel a way towards someone just because kumbaga parang may, we have something or um, as people my age, you have beef with someone. At saka ang lit ng mundo. Ganun nga oh, po. Ang hirap parang, i-impose yung, oy, it's hard. Uh, magka-away kami ni ganito. Huwag mong kakausapin ha. Para sa akin kasi diba? it's parang, not, ang hirap. Um, especially when you work in the world of show business, it's really hard to think that way. Although I understand, like, sometimes some people may feel a way about it. But I'm not taking their right to feel that no, way about uh, it. Kanya -kanya yun. But kanya -kanya I totally respect yun. what you're trying to say. Na hindi ko impose ang sarili ko o ang aking pakiramdam uh, towards other people on my friends. Opo, but others kasi, may disagree. Opo. And I totally get and it. And you agree to disagree. Kaya nga po, parang for me, with things like that, 
Um, iba iba pa na lang ng tao, iba iba yung preferences when it comes to things like that. And right. I respect that. Ganon po kasi ako pinalaki na magulang ko ako na. Din. I you respect must respect that. your differences with other people. And um, at the and end of the day, still be friends. You can still be friends. Right. And ako sa akin, whenever it comes to things like that, whenever I disagree with a friend, basta alam ko po sa sarili ko, maayos yung pakikitungo ko at pag-uusap ko dun uh -huh. sa tao na yun. And talking about maayos na pakikitungo, I didn't know that you have a very good uh, relationship with your brother. Oh, yes. Like, well, um, yeah, people may not know this. And so I have. And we're talking about it for the first time. Yeah, for the first time. So, yeah, I have a uh, half sibling from my dad's side. And, you know, he and I have a good, uh, Wonderful. Or okay relationship. Um, we don't see each other as much as or as often as. I would like maybe. But you have a relationship. We and do. That's good and it's nice. Um, he visits the house every, um, you know, couple of months and things like that. It's just nice na, kumbaga, I have a connection with someone and we have something to relate to, which is our dads. You were raised well. Ah, you're not po. just brilliant, but you're raised well. If you were to write salamat a couple po. of lines about this interview right now, and you were to write a song, sing us a natin. Oh, wow. Lang. Parang, okay. parang dito ako na hot seat, dito boy eh. Parang, Sige siguro, I, I would just say like, I'm just so happy to be here. Back on fast talk with Tito Boy. It's always a good conversation. Yes. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I mean, yeah. Flowers for you. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, and invite everybody again to listen to your music. Of course. Well, to everybody watching, salat po ng mga kapuso and everybody, um, please stream my newest song, my newest single that I wrote, Right Lover, Wrong Time, out now on all digital music platforms. And sana po you watch the live performance, which is on yes. YouTube as well. And of course, stay tuned to my social media accounts for more updates on Right Lover, Wrong Time and my music. Thank you for having Night me. Night ay kapuso. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagpapatuloy sa amin, sa inyong mga tahanan at puso araw-araw. Stay kind. Make your nana and tanay proud. Hashtag say thank you. Do one good thing a day and make this world a better place. Goodbye for now and God bless. Boys of the Carmela, the Barangay, thank you. Dr. Steve Marcani,